Hi guys, I'm back to continue where we left in uh, EV, electric vehicle, in link and I hope you have been doing practice. The last model we created was this model of the commutation logic of our BLDC motor. It explained how to, how to model commutation, how to model sensor, how to input the parameters of BLDC. I also explained how to model the in the three phase inverter and how to use PID and how to yeah and how to get the various data, the sensor. Therefore, in this video, I'm going to continue now to the next section. That section was on this section whereby we were able to model BLDC and drive. This one is a complete working EV model simulation that can be able to answer these questions, answer if questions, we can be able to have some drive train optimization, we can be able to get body dynamics, SOC estimation, yeah, we will discuss also how to estimate state of charge of your, of your electric vehicle. You can still estimate range estimation of your electric vehicle. Still effects of different terrain and weed and effects of brake to vehicle dynamics. In this video, that is part 8, we are, we are going to focus on the vehicle body, modeling of the vehicle body. We want to see how to model tires. We are going to model brakes, we will model these tires, we are going to model how to model differential chain, in the, case of, in the case of electric vehicle has a chain drive or differential, I will illustrate how to model this in these videos. Then we are going to model brake, and you can see brake system here, so we have rear brakes, front two, two front brakes, how to model them. And we are going to see how to integrate weed entering effects into our model. You can see we have a velocity here, we have weed, we have terrain. I will illustrate how to use uh, lookup tables. It will be an amazing series I'm going to create for the next section. Then after that, we are going to now, in the next videos, we are going to model powertrain, industry, vehicle driven control and do some simulations then later after finalizing on this model we'll go to the next level we'll model suspensions to see how you can be able to optimize suspensions how you can be able to vary cable and those cable are gone all those parameters of suspension geometry then we are going to model a demo modeling in case you want to charge your battery using a fast charger then I will illustrate how to model, how to how to accurately get SOC estimation because now we are using a, a normal battery pack. For the SOC estimation, we are going to model lithium ions batteries and have some simulations and get accurate SOC estimation. Lastly, I will illustrate how to use various blocks in Simulink model your own BLDC motor. Stay tuned as we now start this amazing journey of now vehicle body. See you in my next video.